Gisborne is the centre of a potential 200 million revolution in wood processing and New Zealand house building after official opening of a world first technology plant. Economic Regional Development Minister and Forestry Minister Stuart Nash was in Gisborne to open wood engineering technologies optimise engineered lumber production line. The plant is the only one of its type in the world. It produces Wood Engineering Technologies Breakthrough Product, OEL, which is one of only seven engineered lumbered products ever commercialised. Mr Nash also turned the first sod of the company's second production line, construction of which will start in six months and will take about 20 months to complete. Mr Nash said the development of the second line and the company's plans for more plants here would help raise the region's wealth. Oh, it's fantastic. You know, we're building more houses than any other government ever. Um, we've got a hell of a lot more we need to build. We've got a, a wood first policy which says any building that is built for the state sector or by the state sector must be built out of wood. Uh, this is really strong wood. It has a level of structural integrity uh, which is you know, probably better than concrete and steel. Wood Engineering Technology Director Tony Johnson said the structural lumber product will be solely for domestic market. Today was a celebration for the fact that we've got this one to full operational level, it's servicing customers, it's, um, uh, you know, it's doing what we wanted it to do and so now we have, a, um, we have an operational plant so we asked the Minister to make that official for us. The company raised $30 million for a combination of the Provincial Growth Fund and private investors to build a new line.